Now back to our breaking news this hour and government troops are said to be carrying out a massive offensive against anti-government forces in the eastern Ukrainian city of Donetsk. Now for more we can cross live to Roman Kosarev who's in the city and joins us now. Roman, uh, what's the situation like there on the ground? Well, it was indeed a very uh, sleepless uh, night uh, last night and uh, the shelling continues right now as we speak and uh, judging from the statement from the uh, deputy of the Ukrainian uh, president uh, Poroshenko, uh, the ceasefire is now effectively over as uh, the Ukrainian troops are now on an offensive against the self-proclaimed uh, uh, Donetsk People's Republic uh, uh, here in the east of Ukraine. Um, uh, the shilling continues uh, at the airport, which is uh, about a kilometer of that way and uh, also residential areas have been hit uh, last night uh, as well so the situation is uh, far from uh, uh, normal at uh, this point I'm not sure if you can hear me here right now but uh, uh, artillery fire can be heard from this spot where I stand right now okay Roman thanks for the update and uh, stay safe out there Roman Kosarev reporting for RT International well, Russia's foreign minister earlier warned of a possible military escalation by Kiev. We have information that we are double-checking now, and it's that Ukraine's security officials are preparing another attempt to solve the situation militarily in the nearest future. That would be a catastrophe. We also have information that Ukrainian leaders don't deny that there is an ongoing mobilization. Numbers vary. From 50 to 20,000 people are to be drafted into the army.